there may come a time where you need to check or alter vehicle settings, such as top end speed, acceleration curve, and so forth. Before we get into the software and tuning items available for change, first, you need to plug in the USB Type A side of the programming cable into your tablet. Then, underneath the seat base with the battery compartment, located next to the run toe switch, you will find the programming port. Remove the safety cap and insert your programming cable. The cable will only fit in one way and may require carefully applied force. Make sure the run toe switch is in the run position and the vehicle is turned on. Open the tune program. The CAN USB serial adapter will have a green LED indicating good communication with the vehicle. The program will open up shortly after with a few options available. If the options aren't available, or some options are blacked out, then you do not have good connection with the vehicle. The vehicle is turned off, the CAN USB serial adapter has been damaged, or possible open or shorted wires from the programming port leading back to the controller of the vehicle. If you have a good connection, then on this screen you will select tuning. The software will now automatically begin to read your vehicle settings. Sometimes it will fail to read and give you an error message. This usually depends on the contact quality the cord has with the pins at the programming port. If this happens, just click OK, then at the top click Device Read. You always need to get a good read on a vehicle before proceeding with anything else. Once you have a good read without any error messages, you will see the column labeled Old is now filled with data. The old column shows the settings your vehicle currently has programmed on it. The min and max columns show you the range at which you're allowed to set each row between. The new column is where your new settings will be entered. The unit column will show you the type of units the setting is referring to for that row. Whether it's volts, rotations per minute, a simple on-off state, etc. An important thing to note is the current value for line 5. It's either a 0 or a 1 to enable or disable it. There have been some changes to our wiring harness and newer cars have a charging safety incorporated into them. So make sure after adjusting everything you would like, this value stays the same. If after programming your vehicle it doesn't move, simply change this value to the opposite of whatever it's set to. At this point, you can either just adjust the settings independently you would like to change, or you can load an entire preset of settings from a file. To load an entire preset, click File Open at the top and then navigate to where the file is. If you purchased a programming device from us, then our factory standard preset files will be located in My Documents. If there are other changes you will also like to make, you can still do so. Just select what you would like to change under the new column for that row and type in the value you would like. Here we're changing the forward max speed, which is a very common line item most of our dealers change. Simply type in the value you want, and that's it. Now you can click Device Right at the top. And you're done. And always remember to test drive the vehicle after programming it to verify your changes.